In this tutorial, I'm going to go over quickly how to add uh, page numbers to your document and edit your page header and footer if needed, but uh, in this case, I will be aligning with APA formatting. Um, so the first thing you want to do is obviously open up Word. I'm on a Mac. Um, I'll upload a video later about how to do this on a PC. First thing you want to do is make sure that you have your toolbox open. Um, on a Mac, it's a little, little weird where it's located. It's just, in a, in a sense, just an icon at the top of your um, uh, document. If you don't have it, you might have to select this icon on the top right. So you can see, you can select that, and then you'll see all your different icons and options to choose from. So now that I have my toolbox open, you'll see I have um, some different options to play with. This will come into play in just a second. A couple different ways you can get to the header. You can double click on the actual header area of the page, or you can go to view header. Once I select, once I do that, either double click or view header, um, you can see that my cursor is aligned in the header area. Also, there's some um, tool tips to help you on what you're editing. I'm editing the header, and I can close the header. I don't want to do that right now. I do want to show you a couple things, though. Um, you have the ability to insert these elements. Uh, these are, in a sense, automatically generated elements that will appear in your document as you continue to add pages. So with APA styling and format, you want to um, check with whatever university or uh, journal article you're writing on to make sure you align with what they're expecting. Um, in this case, I'm going to align it with uh, the school I'm at, and it is capital R and then lowercase h, running head, colon, and then whatever the title is. For this case, I'm going to say tutorial on header. So um, I then want to add in a page number. Now, I want to put the page number on the right, um, right alignment in a sense. And to do that, I'm just going to hit tab twice. Now, the header is unique in a sense that it, by default, it sets up a couple different tabs. So you can see here my tab, tab areas. The center, the one tab in would be the center of the page. So if I click tab, you'll notice that my blinking cursor is now in the center. If I hit tab again, it should align over here on the right. And that's where I want. I'm then going to click, then going to click the insert page number from my header footer options bar. And that actually inserts the page number. Now, that looks like it just, I could have just hit the number one, but it's a little more powerful than that because you can see if I select it, it's gray. That means I can't actually type in the page number. It'll automatically update that as I continue to add pages. And I want to actually show that because that's important. So I'm going to actually close under my header. I'm going to add a couple pages. I'm going to pull in some copy uh, from uh, Lipsum just to show how that works. Let's see here. Oops. So I have about, I don't know, 10 paragraphs worth of uh, just Latin copy to insert. So I just selected it all, copy, went to Lipson.com, decent little site. And I'm going to just go into my document and I'm going to paste. Now I want to make sure it pastes um, my font, which I want it to be, which um, I, actually I'm just going to paste it. Apple V if you're on a, a Mac. I'm going to select everything and I want to change this to Times New Roman. Just hit enter. I want it to be my APA standards font size 12. Obviously, that needs to be double spaced, so I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to paragraph. And I'm going to go line spacing double. Okay, so now I'm good. Just obviously, this is all Latin, so it won't make any sense. But as I scroll down, you can see here I am on page two. Um, one interesting thing that you need to do is I, I don't want this to say running ahead here. I want to change page two and page three to not have running head. So this is again where there's one option you need to do. I'm going to double click in the header on page three. It doesn't matter. I'm going to actually go over to my header header and footer area. And I'm going to click different first page. As soon as I do that, oops, as soon as I do that, I'll scroll all the way up to page one. And you can see everything's gone now. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy paste, triple click on page two and paste into page one. So you'll be like, okay, that's great, but I want it to be different. It is different in the sense that if I delete now um, running head from page two, because it's aligned with my APA formatting, page three will have it like that. If I scroll the way up to page one, you can see it has running head to the row. And that's the way I want it to appear. Hope it's clear. Again, when you're in this mode to edit the header footer, you can also edit the footer. Thanks. Enjoy.